You know our next guest from her roles on shows like Weeds and Woke Up Dead, but did you know that she's a quadruple threat? She acts, she dances, she writes, and she sings. My goodness. I love this. She's yeah. very multi-talented. Here to talk to us about her blossoming career and her new single, Give Us Back Love, Israeli beauty, Maytel Dohan. Hi. Welcome. Oh, nice Hi, guys. Ooh, girl, you came with a corset and everything. Yes. I came dressed, actually. Yes. You know, I made an Work. effort. <laughs> Work it. You look amazing. So it's Maytel, is that correct? Metal, yeah. But what? it's kind of like it has a unique spirit because you can use it in any way you want. Okay, what does it mean exactly? It means water do. Water do. In Hebrew, yeah. Wow, that's beautiful. Yeah. So how does a woman from Tel Aviv end up associated with this big hit show about marijuana, weeds? <laughs> Talk about I don't that know. first. Yeah. Uh, you know, uh, I had great time working on weeds. Uh, I've been cast as Yael Hoffman, and I had this great opportunity to uh, present this like uh, big epic um, kind of like Fally um, instrument in the show yes. and, and use it in, with Justin Kirk oh, and yeah. Then, yeah, it was very fun. There's a theme here. I <laughs> know, of the day. Now your career is just beginning to really take off in the U.S., but in Israel, you're like a household name. You're a huge megastar. I just want to go through some of your accolades. You've won Israel's equivalent of a Tony. Yeah. Have two Israeli Oscar nominations. Right. Have you? And you've starred in that country's version of Ugly Betty, Dancing with the Stars, and Romeo and Juliet. Right. I was Romeo. My goodness. Wow. <laughs> now, how does that work? Why even bother to come here when you're such a big star at home? Um, you know, things just happened. Mm -hmm. um, I came for a visit and. Um, one thing led to another, and I just kind of stayed. So really? every time, yeah, every time I was kind of like I got cast for Weeds, and then all of a sudden I became a singer because a, a spiritual guide in Israel told me to do so. Wow! Really? What? Well, yeah. Take us back to that story. You can't just gloss over <laughs> yes. that. Yes, a spiritual guide, like a calling, yeah. like an anointing. I know, anointing. I know, like a guru. How did that happen? Yeah. Talk about it. Um, no, I mean I've known her. As, since like many years ago and um, we became really close and uh, one day actually when I was doing Dancing with the Stars she told me now you're gonna be a singer and so I thought she was crazy like you're looking at me I was kind of looking at her in the same way like yes. okay <laughs> Well, a big part but then of why, it just happened. A really? big part of why you're here is the singing. You right. have a new song, Give Us Back Love. Lola and I love love, and we love dancing. <laughs> so you. tell us about Give Us Back Love. Yeah. Well, it's um, a song that I did with DJ Reflex, mm -hmm. and uh, I, we did it as a prayer for the return of love because uh, there is so much. Uh, I mean, there is some coldness in the world, and mm -hmm. there is some confusion, and unfortunately, uh, war. So Give Us Back Love was... A prayer for the return of love yes. and um, I was very very lucky and um, just happy that it was received really well and charted all over the world so it's cool. You know we've been hearing a lot about the conflict between Israel and Palestine yeah, I know. and we don't want you to go too political, get yeah. too political, but ro what role do you think music and the arts can play in helping bring healing to the region? Well. Um, you know, I was actually working with a hospital, uh, Sheba Hospital mm -hmm. in Israel and the David Lynch Foundation for Transcendental Meditation uh, because I'm trying to uh, work a complementary, of course, um, service that Israeli's hospitals serve to all uh, religious, of course. Beautiful. And um, I wanted to provide uh, Transcendental Meditation mm -hmm. to soldiers from all religious. Mm. And I just think it's it's so sad, and and for both sides, of course. And as an Israeli, I just feel like, really, from the bottom of my heart, and I know that a lot of Israelis feel the same. We really want peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, I mean, I wish there would be uh, a way to stop everything and resolve everything. Sure. And I'll do what I can. Well, we're on happy my that end. you're <laughs> using your platform yeah. for the for humanity and the goodness of this um, conflict. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you talk about what's on the calendar? What's on your calendar? I know you must be booked through the rest of the year. Yeah, uh, I'm working on my next single right now, and I'm also working on a TV series. Oh, great. Uh, yeah. yeah. And now that's a TV series. Here. Here. Yeah. Can you tell us more? No. It's Come secret. on. <laughs> okay, so we'll just have to have you back when the TV yeah. series comes out. I Deal? would love to. All right. Well, thank you so much for being yeah, here. Yeah, it's been my pleasure, thank really. You, thank you, thank, thank you. you. You're watching Arise Entertainment 360.